Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at a you know, nice uh, general. We're going to work our way down. We're going to look a little bit deeper in magnification. So we have our general lipid bilayer. This is a nice cell membrane. We see some integral proteins. Uh, we see the lipid bilayer. We see our, and this is our top layer here. This is our bottom layer there. So we have outside of the cell. We have inside of the cell. So we would call this the outer leaflet. We would call this the inner leaflet. And you can see these little blue things. This is our, our head group. And you can see the tails a little bit. So when we magnify this, now we're going to come over to this level. So nice cross-sectional view. We have our head groups. These are the head groups. These are the tails. Notice there are two tails atta attached. So these are our glycerophospholipids. In general, you have the two fatty acid tails attached. They're going to arrange themselves like this, again, because polar with polar, nonpolar with nonpolar. These are nonpolar tails attaching with nonpolar tails. Outer leaflet, inner leaflet. Um, this is something called a micelle. Oftentimes they will arrange themselves. One layer of these can arrange itself in a circle and create this little container, if you will, where um, the inside is actually nonpolar, the outside is polar. Um, the soaps and detergents that you use, they often do it like this. They trap the oil inside here, but they interact with water outside here because these things are polar. Okay, so now let's magnify a little bit more. Now we have an idea of what it is that they look like. So this is the, what you might call the, well, all right, separation. This is, this is what they're showing. So what you have here in this particular case, so we have our glycerol right there. Okay, this is our glycerol. We have one of the fatty acids attached. We have another fatty acid attached. Here is our phosphate group. And then, of course, in this particular case, we have CCN. We have CCC, so this is choline. So this is our polar head group. Okay? That is that. And these down here, that's that. In this particular case, same thing, except we have ethanolamine instead of choline, but we have our phosphate. And here, we have our serine. So this is, again, that's the tail, that's the tail, and this is our phosphatidyl serine, phosphatidyl ethanolamine, phosphatidyl choline. This is the general structure. This is what you see. This is one of these, is one of these. There you go. Again, you've seen this stuff before, should be reasonably uh, familiar. Now we're just getting into the actual structure of these lipids. Okay, so this is a nice blown up view of a cross section of a cell. So in the outer leaflet, the inner leaflet, so let me go ahead and go to blue. So in the outside of the cell, the inside of the cell, so this is going to be, let's see, sphingomyelin. Uh, cholesterol, so phosphatidylcholine. Uh, a couple of these we actually haven't talked about yet. They're going to be the other classes that we're going to talk about, the sphingolipids and the sterols. But this one we've talked about. So here you have your glycerol, you have your phosphate, you have your choline. Okay, so this is the outer leaflet of the membrane, inner leaflet of the membrane. And then, of course, you have your tail group. And of course, you have your tail group, and these are just some other um, lipids, some other fats that are actually, well, I shouldn't call them fats, let's just call them lipids, some other lipids that are in the outer leaflet, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. Um, here we have our phosphatidyl serine. Here we have another cholesterol. We have phosphatidyl ethanolamine. And we have phosphatidyl inositol, which again, we'll talk about in subsequent lessons. So that's it. It's just an arrangement of these uh, lipids, the various lipid classes, arranging themselves and making up the cell membrane. That's all. Okay, a couple of structures here. So the, here we have a monogalactolipid. Uh, this one is a monogalactolipid. So 
this is the MG DG, okay, or the monogalacto diacylglycerol. This is the digalacto diacylglycerol. This is our galactose monomer, down, up, down, down. Now, notice in this particular case, they actually show you the stereochemistry in a different way. Instead of looking at it in Haworth projection, they're looking at it directly like this. So, again, just another way of looking at the molecular structure of something. You're going to often see structures like this. That's the thing with biochemistry. Different projections, different views give us different bits of information. So just wanted you to see something a little bit different than a Haworth projection. Back, forward, forward, forward. Here we have our two galactose monomers. They are connected in what we said was alpha 1, 6, because this is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon right there. This is going to be a beta 1 connection to glycerol. So that's it. Just wanted you to see, you know, what it is that they actually looked like. Um, these are our acyl groups. Again, R1 and R2 tend to be the same, but they don't have to be the same, so we left it that way. Uh, we have our glycerol, which was carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, or 1, 2, 3, however you want to arrange it. Um, 1, 2, 3, ester linkage, ester linkage, direct linkage, glycosidic bond, O-linked, ester linkage, ester linkage, O-linked, glycosidic bond, directly to a sugar, so there's no, notice there's no phosphate in these galactolipids. That's all. Okay, let's see. Do we have, nope, that's it. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com, and we will see you next time for a further discussion of these membrane lipids. Bye-bye.